This is the Armenian Duduk, um, one of several sizes, but this one is um, probably one of the most popular sizes of Duduk. And um, it has quite a lot of finger holes on it, so you really have a range. Um, a lot of the fingerings are closed or half open or partially covered, and that, along with changes in the armature and the tension of your lips, create quite a lot of su subtlety. So um, uh, I'm just going to play some some things that kind of feature the just the natural scale of the instrument. So um, this is the duduk. Then we go to the Chinese guan, and um, here's a typical example of travel from the west, from the Mediterranean, out to the east in China. And of course, this in um, Korea is called the piri, and there's several different sizes of that, and it's used for the female shaman called kut. Um, in Japan, it's known as the Hichiriki, and it's the lead instrument of the Gogaku music and uh, the music for the court of the emperor. Uh, a thousand years ago, Chinese musicians were uh, brought from China to Japan. And paradoxically, if you want to hear what ancient Chinese music go, go, uh, sounds like, you have to uh, listen to Gogaku music from Japan, because essentially they kept the performance styles and the instruments pretty much unchanged. And until recently, their descendants of these Chinese musicians were still playing Gogaku music. That has changed now, I understand, but a lot of those people were descended over a thousand years playing for the court, uh, playing Gogaku music. So um, the Armenian Dudek is one size. This is the Kwan. They have several different versions with keys on them and bells and you name it. But this is the simple piece just made out of a piece of cane that's been lacquered and a couple of extra uh, wooden pieces are put on there to keep the cane from splitting. So again we have the double reed and this time for a collar we've got a uh, copper wire wrapped around the whole reed and there's also copper wire at the base to keep it together. Uh, so let's do this. This is the my origin of clarinet sounds, the cylindrical bore. 